A mass protests are escalating in Israel, but the prime minister says he won't yield to demands for an immediate ceasefire to save the remaining hostages. Here's Jeff Paul from Tel Aviv. Another day of anger on the streets of Israel. Families of the hostages still being held by Hamas demonstrated outside the headquarters of the ruling Likud party. They're calling for the government to reach a deal to free their loved ones before it's too late. Protests ramped up this week after the killing of six hostages in Gaza, putting enormous political pressure on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Prime Minister did not look the public in the eye and tell the truth, that he won't bring the hostages back alive. But getting a deal done won't be easy. The chief of staff of Israel's military said Tuesday, operations in Gaza will continue until every Hamas terrorist is eliminated. And Netanyahu is remaining defiant. He says he wants to bring the hostages home, but won't agree to any ceasefire that puts Israel's security at risk. It's not going to happen. And people say, yeah, but if you stay, this will kill the deal. And I say, such a deal will kill us, and there won't be a deal that way. And while the fighting ramps up in Gaza, diplomats are reportedly hammering out the final details of a new deal in Qatar. Hamas says any proposal will be seriously considered, while also claiming if more hostages die, it will be the prime minister's fault. The fate of the Zionist prisoners in the Gaza Strip is in the hands of the war criminal Netanyahu alone. He and his terrorist army bear full responsibility. The White House says it expects to release details of President Biden's new ceasefire proposal in the coming days. In Tel Aviv, Israel, Jeff Paul, Fox 32 Chicago.